Welcome to our demonstration of Accord AL3 data manipulation in the XCS EI console. Companies in the property and casualty value chain have been longtime adopters of the Accord standards. While the XML standards have been around for nearly a decade, they are long predated by the use of both Accord Forms and Accord AL3. Even today, much of the electronic communication between agency management systems and carrier home office systems is transacted using the AL3 data dictionary. And as service orientation and Accord XML becomes more prevalent, the ongoing development and maintenance of Accord AL3 interfaces remains a very important part of the IT landscape. For this reason, the Pilotfish XES EI console has been instrumented with both Accord and AL3 specific features. Taken together with the best of breed data integration tools within the software, this can save thousands of hours and more importantly, dollars. Let's take a look at exactly how this can be accomplished. The first screen we see here is the XCS EI Console's route file management window. It contains a list of interfaces or interface templates that we may choose to work with. Here we have a single route or interface for a homeowner's AL3 download. Double clicking a route or template in the route grid brings us to the main EI Console screen. Here, we depict the flow of the data from one source system to one target system. For this demonstration, we'll be accepting AL3 data in a directory, converting it to a core PCS XML, and then back. The first configured component of our interface is the listener. Here, we simply have the directory listeners selected. However, the XCS EI console supports any number of inbound connectivity protocols. After the listener, we move on to the source transformation. In the source transformation, we'll be accepting the AL3 pulled from a directory, and we first need to convert it into an XML format. The XCS EI console always converts inbound data into XML before logical data transformation using XSLT. There are a number of modules available to help accomplish this. When working with delimited or fixed width data, we use the delimited and fixed width file transformation module. Here we define a file specification in an XCS EI console tool called the File Specification Editor. In the XCS File Specification Editor, we describe the structure of our inbound data such that it can be parsed into an XML structure. Here you see the tree on the left hand side represents that structure, in this case the AL3 data dictionary. Each green node represents a record type and each blue node a field type. When a field is selected, you'll see the byte positions and name underneath. When using the file specification editor to describe an arbitrary format, this tree can be built manually or through an import process. However, when working with Accord AL3, you can use the XCS file specifications AL3 import. The AL3 importer allows us to specify data dictionary file. This file is typically terminated with the suffix ASC and is part of an Accord AL3 specification download. Upon importing, we can choose to use the data dictionary's group code, reference name, or field description to name our fields. Once the AL3 structure has been loaded, we can also load in a sample file. The sample file will be loaded into the 2XML pane of the results preview area. We can then execute our transformation to XML using the AL3 data dictionary.
will then be presented with a second tree. This time, the tree is populated not only with the structure of the file, but also the actual field level data. We can inspect this to ensure that the parsing occurred properly. Note that here we're going to XML, but the same process works in reverse. We can take an XML representation of an AL3 file and then use this file specification to lay it out into the fixed width file format. Once the AL3 data has been converted to XML, the next step is the logical mapping. Logical mapping in the XCSEI console is handled using XSLT and the best of breed data transformation tool, the XCS Data Mapper. The XCS Data Mapper is made up of three panes. We have a pane on the right containing a tree with the structure of our source data. In this case, it's a tree-based representation of the AL3. On the right-hand side, we have another tree, this tree representing the structure of our target format. In this case, it's loaded with the Accord PCS XML model. In the middle, we have the mapping between the source and the target. This mapping is created through drag and drop, first adding fields from the right to the mapping, and then associating it with fields to the left. To work with AL3 in the data mapper, we need only choose the flat file format builder and point it at the file specification that we just created. On the right hand side, we have Accord loaded. To load the Accord PCS model, we used the Accord PNC schema release and provided the schema file, code list, and any extension file. Let's take a look at how we'd add something to the mapping. Here you'll see the coverage section of the mapping where we'll be outputting an Accord XML coverage. You'll see here we're using the XSLT for each tool to iterate over each instance of the FRMS underscore group element. Here we'll be creating a form with several sub-elements. Those elements that have blue child nodes have already been mapped. But here you see we have form name, which, been, which has been dragged from the right, but not yet mapped from the left. To create the mapping, we'll drag from the left-hand panel the F name element and drop it on top of form name. That creates a one-to-one -one mapping that's also represented in the underlying XSLT. More complicated manipulations are also available. For instance, if we needed to do date formatting on this addition date element, mapped from the FEDDT field, We could use the date time formatter tool from the palette, which allows us to provide an input pattern and our desired output pattern. Additionally, we support tabular mapping. Here we see the LOB code element mapped to a field from AL3. You'll note that then when this element is selected on the right hand side, the Accord documentation and code list will be available. To map between a set of allowable codes in AL3 to a set of codes in Accord, we can use our tabular mapping tool. Here we can enter in values from the left-hand side that map to pre-populated values in the Accord standard.
And of course, once our mapping is complete, we can test the mapping in the testing pane. You'll see our source is AL3 that's been converted to XML, and our result is an Accord PCS XML transaction. Moving along, the next, next stage in our interface is the router. Here we're just routing the data along to our one defined target system and moving along to the target transformation. In the target transformation, we're using the same transformation tools we used in the source. However, this time, we'll show you how it works in reverse. First, we use XSLT to map from our Accord XML into an XML representation of AL3. This time in the data mapper, we see the Accord PCS model on the left and the Accord AL3 model on the right. Instead of generating Accord tags, we're generating AL3 records and their corresponding fields. Values from the Accord PCS model, represented as XPaths, are being used to populate each one of these fields. The output of this transformation is again an XML representation of the AL3. Then we move on to the transformation module where the XML representation of the AL3 is then converted with the same file specification from XML to the fixed width format. Finally, we're just dropping this data into a local directory. Let's take a look at the interface from end to end in the console's testing mode. Here, we'll begin our test with the source transformation and end the test after the final target transform. We click Execute Test and we choose an AL3 sample file. As each stage completes, the question marks turn into check marks. We can view our original flat format AL3 data, the result of the initial transformation of that data into an XML format, the result of our XSLT mapping onto an Accord PCS XML transaction, the result of mapping that data back into an Accord AL3 XML structure, and then finally, that data being laid out back into an Accord AL3 fixed width file format. This concludes our demonstration of using the XES EI console to work with the Accord XML and AL3 formats.